Hi, everybody. Uh, once again, we are live at the federal courthouse. This is Wendy Birch. We apologize for any audio difficulties that we had earlier, but we wanted to bring you the very latest that in the federal trial against Ed Buck, the former prominent Democratic contributor, he has now been found guilty of all nine federal charges. That verdict coming down just about 30 minutes ago. Now, the charges are extensive. There are at least two counts of providing methamphetamine to a victim that resulted in death. Four additional counts of providing methamphetamine, one count of using his West Los Angeles apartment as a drug lair, and two counts of paying for interstate travel for the purpose of prostitution. All of these are significant charges. He's been found guilty in all of them. There are maximum sentencing. It is likely that 66-year-old Ed Buck will spend the rest of his life in a federal prison. Now, this case came to light a few years back when there were a number of men, mostly black men, that were overdosing in the presence of Ed Buck, and two of those young men died in his apartment in West Hollywood, one of them being 26-year-old Jamel Moore, the other one being 55-year-old Timothy Dean. During the two weeks of testimony, there were more than eight men that spoke in this trial, and at times the testimony was harsh and difficult for even the jurors to hear. Uh, so much of it involved graphic testimony of Ed Buck's alleged sexual fetishes and his desire, said the prosecution, to inject methamphetamine into his victims against their will. Now, two of those victims, of course, could not testify, and that was Moore and Dean. Both of them died in that apartment, Moore dying exactly four months ago today. His family now is speaking to the press. We have a live camera just steps away from me. Let's listen in. Because the witnesses weren't credible. So to get uh, uh, people around us that were, that were not only in the fight with us, but they were out there searching and taking everything into it, you know, and using it. It wasn't just discounted. It was like, because we started on this case, it was like, it, it wasn't only that it didn't matter. It was like when you showed them exactly what it was, when you showed them the proof, it was not enough. It was not enough. And as a young gay black, gay black man in this city, going through Black Lives Matter and all that, it was a, it was a, sudden realization that my life was didn't matter to this city and it, it's disgusting and it it has stunted my growth and it stunts the growth of this city you know how do you build on that how do you expect somebody to build and grow past that if you don't show them that they are valuable I agree, and I'll, I'll just add this to what Sammy is saying. To show you that he's telling the truth, we have a council member behind you at City Hall named Paul Caretz, who told a group of people that all of Ed Buck's victims were nothing but disadvantaged black hustlers. And that is how a lot of the politicians looked at his victims, which is why they, like Paul Caretz, never returned his money, never even tried to acknowledge this case, boo on the Democratic Party, um, of which I'm a member of, um, because like Sammy said, it wasn't just the investigators um, and the sheriff's department. It was the politician. It was the media worried about getting sued by Ad Buck. It was everybody. And so I think we all feel vindicated today, like, you know, finally. So anyway, I, I, I just wanted to, to say one thing uh, before we go. We are tremendously proud and lucky to have gotten to work with our law enforcement partners in the sheriff's department, in FBI, in DEA. They put together a tremendous case and we would not have had the volume and quality of evidence without our law enforcement partners who are the unsung heroes here. So I agree I, with that 100%. Yeah. It's so unusual to be yeah. feeling like that, but they absolutely Shame on Jackie Lacey. They had all that evidence. Yeah. Um, but I'm happy they were able to get it to you, and I'm happy you guys were able to use it. And, and I just want to also say happen. thank you to Jasmine Kanick for being a, a tireless advocate in the community who never let go of, of the truth and fought for the truth. What, uh, what was said about my community in that courtroom was not true. What I know about my community is this is what pride looks like. This is what makes our community proud. People coming forward, standing courageously in their truth, and fighting for justice. And I am so deeply grateful to you, Jasmine, to the families who shared your stories and shared your courage. Um, Dane, I don't have words for the courage and strength that you have shown 
to make today possible. And I am deeply grateful to everyone who pursued truth on this day. The anniversary of Jamel's death in our community is an opportunity for life and justice. Thank you. We're so proud to have you. Go Persia, a superhero in West Hollywood. The only one who didn't uh, take his yes, money. Yes. yes. Okay. <laughs> I think it's spelling. Is it spelling? Dane Brown or Dane? Yes, that's right. Okay. Is Dane D-A-N-E? Yes. <laughs> Dane Brown, right? Yes. And we will continue to follow this story. Just a couple of quick notes to touch on. As you heard, one of the uh, people that you just heard from alluded to the fact that there was a great deal of witness shaming that took place during the two weeks of trial testimony. In fact, at one point, a member of the prosecution indicated that it was the most despicable act of victim shaming that he has ever seen in a courtroom. Also, there was concern and there has been criticism for some time that the former DA Jackie Lacey's office didn't do enough to get this case before or a judge and into the court system quickly enough. And you heard the families today say that they were grateful for the current district attorney and for the current prosecutors that were able to move, or I should say federal uh, attorneys that were able to move this forward. Also, we will continue to follow this developing story. But again, Ed Buck, who is now 66 years of age, the now disgraced former Democratic contributor, has been found guilty on all nine federal counts against him. Although sentencing has yet to take place, we believe that uh, he he will spend the rest of his life in prison. Joining me now, excuse me, is 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 this you are a relation to Jamel? You're Jamel's mother? Oh my goodness. I can't even imagine what you're feeling today. Four years ago, you got the worst news that any mother could ever get about her son. Today, on the anniversary of his death, do you feel you finally have justice? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Four years ago, I got the worst news that I ever could have imagined, but today, four years later, I got the best news that I ever could have imagined. <laughs> we weren't in that courtroom, but could you put into words what it was like when that verdict was read that Ed Buck was found guilty on all nine counts? A sense of relief, because this is what we wanted from the beginning, so he can't hurt anybody else. It's all we wanted. This trial, as we understand, was difficult for the jurors to listen to. It was difficult to, for the prosecution. There was a lot of criticism of the defense for the victim shaming that took place. You, as the mother of one of those victims, how difficult has this process been the last two weeks specifically? It's been very difficult, but I was able to get through it with a lot of support from you know, the people that believed us from, you know, Jamel's family and friends, and I, I, I'm just grateful. We are sorry for your loss again, even four years later, but thank you for sharing your story and for letting us know about and sharing your feelings on the verdict today. Well, thank you for always reporting correctly. I appreciate you guys in this channel. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, Jamel Moore's mother right here for you. Thank you again. Again, we'll continue to follow the story. We'll have a complete report tonight at 6 o'clock. Ed Buck found guilty on all nine federal counts against him. He will undoubtedly spend the rest of his life in a federal prison. We'll send it back to you.